Turn your idol or Goliath. The idol is never idle. He is restless and restive. He is always busy seeking whom to devour. He is a strong man, a behemoth and a monster. A Goliath, Colossus, abnormally large and powerful, ugly and very scary. Take him out of the way. Stone your idol, Goliath or strong man. 1 Samuel 17, 39 to 40 and Psalm 23 verse 4. Use five well-selected and smooth stones, one from your home and the other four you'll pick from here, Mercy City. Hit it, aim, pelt, strike and don't miss it. Missing means repeating all over again. Let's do it again. Date, Thursday 7th and Friday 8th June 2018, time 7 a.m. Venue, Mercy City, beside a white house uh, close to the mountains. Goliath is a showstopper. Stop him before he stops you. There will be a wild wind of change. The devil is in double trouble. The last battle, Jeremiah 10, 11 declares, Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have not been made, the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. KJV. Spit them out, all you have swallowed or stolen, including your glory. Your enemies must be flawed or defeated. There must be total restoration and all-round celebration. Hallelujah. Wow, I am Prophet Jemam I am here to now inform all the people that who are there. I am here to now inform you people that uh, there is uh, this program that is uh, about to take place. Uh, we must turn our enemies to death. Our enemies must go this time. The Bible says the fifth month, that when God give grace to King David to now put down the enemies. And the enemy was down. His name is called Goliath. Who is that person? What is Goliath? Who is that person that's disturbing you? Who is that person that's blocking you? The Bible says these people, they were trying to now pull down Israel, the Philistine. The Bible says, they now send a young boy. God give grace upon a young boy in order to now overcome the plans of uh, the Philistines. And they stone King, the King King David stoned what is called Goliath. And Goliath died. He fell down. Who are those people that are fighting you in your community? Who are those people that are fighting you in your family? Who are those people that are fighting you in your dreams? Who are those people that are pursuing you? There, this is a time. And the Bible says he pick five stones. One, two, three, four, and five. The Bible says he picked five. Five stones from the book to in order to now pull down, stone down. Goliath. So what are we going to do? This is five. The Bible says in the book of 4, 1 Samuel 17, verse 40, it says that he picked the five stones from the brook and he now carried one. God gave him grace. He was planning to now stone him with all this, the five stones. But God gave him grace. God gave him grace in order to now use only one stone to now stone his enemy and the enemy died. Who are your enemies? You must come with one. You come with one from your home. Then you come. When you come one with home from your home, then you now come and now pick four from here, from this place. The angels here, they are guiding you, are giving you the grace for you to go and now stone this, uh, uh, your enemies. <laughs> But if you are not ready to stone your enemies down, if you are not ready to kill your enemies, please don't come for this program. Because this program is going to now, whosoever that don't want you to succeed, they must go. Whosoever, whether a woman, a boy, or girl, after you stone, they remain six months, you will see what's going to happen. Because this one, anybody that who don't want you to now to succeed, to be at the top, they will go. So... As I carry the five stones, these five stones, you're going to stone one in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You're going to stone three to the devil, the idol, the, the, the Goliath that who don't want you to succeed. That's uh, Lucifer that pursuing you in your dreams, your mother worship that don't want you to succeed. It is a time of war. 
This is a time of war and a time of fight. So you must overcome this battle. And God has given grace to, uh, to David, King David, to overcome this grace. You must go with this one. You have to take this one also so that the Bible says, Jesus will be with you. To the, I will be with you to the end of the world. So get ready for this program. It will be explosive. Come and stone your enemy. Come and stone them. You will see what could happen. Some time ago, I done this program in a, a, a messy land. A young boy stoned uh, uh, just the wall. I told them to stone. And they stone. It's a murder, biological murder that do cause problem upon scatter all, damage his business, scatter his business. All his lifestyle was zero. And the mother confessed. After seven days, her leg, her, her hands, and her, her, her eyes were swollen up. And uh, she now said she was the one that, uh, please uh, forgive her. She was the one that responsible all her life, his lifestyle. So she was the one that uh, been a Goliath to him. So this stone that you're about to stone, <laughs> anybody that who, that don't want you to succeed is for them. You carry two home. One will represent you. One will represent God for, in order to guide you. So they will go home with two. They will stone listen. Make sure one stone will come with you from your home. God bless you as you come. I am waiting for you. I'm a prophet, Jeremiah Mother for you. Look at the date on the screen. Those uh, dates are rolling on the screen. And the numbers, call them so that you get more further information. So your life will never ever remain the same. I am waiting for you right now in Mercy City. What is going to happen this time? <laughs> you will never ever believe it because it's a time of war. You must, your enemies must surrender and they must submit. God bless you as you come. Thank you. Turn your idol or Goliath. The idol is never idle. He is restless and restive. He's always busy seeking whom to devour. He is a strong man, a behemoth and a monster. A Goliath, Colossus, abnormally large and powerful, ugly and very scary. Take him out of the way. Stone your idol, Goliath or strong man. 1 Samuel 17, 39 to 40 and Psalm 23, verse 4. Use five well-selected and smooth stones, one from your home and the other four you'll pick from here, Mercy City. Hit it, aim, pelt, strike, and don't miss it. Missing means repeating all over again. Let's do it again. Date, Thursday 7th and Friday 8th June 2018, time 7 a.m. Venue, Mercy City, beside a white house uh, close to the mountains. Goliath is a showstopper. Stop him before he stops you. There will be a wild wind of change. The devil is in double trouble. The last battle, Jeremiah 10, 11 declares, Thus shall you say unto them, The gods that have not been made, the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. KJV. Spit them out, all you have swallowed or stolen, including your glory. Your enemies must be flawed or defeated. There must be total restoration and all-round celebration. Hallelujah. <laughs>
this is, look at these stones, you will go, you will take this thing, you will put it on your neck, like this. Then, you go to, to, to where the angels are praying for the stones. Then you take four, one stone from your home, then you pick four, four stones. Then the four stones, three, you use three when you are coming, then the grace of God, the angels will give you, good or give to you. When the angels, when you pick the stones from the, uh, from the angels, then you can stone this, this devil. Then the problems that you have been facing, all of them, they will now go. So, if you go, if you just go and now stone this devil without this, and without the stone from the, uh, the grace, the blessed stones, you can never ever stone the devil. You can never ever defeat him. So what I'm trying to tell you is this, that uh, I want you people, the Bible says, David was, he took the five stones and God gave him grace. It is not ordinary, ordinary stones. So one, David took these stones and God gave them grace. Gave him grace. God gave him grace in order to overcome the battle. King, King David took, collected these things, he picked them, and he used only one because grace was with him. This is the fifth month. The fifth month that when you're going to now defeat your enemies. So, what I'm trying to tell you, these people, you have to go back to the place where you're going to have this, this tag. This is Jesus Christ. He will be with you, then you take, pick the stones. Then you come and stone it. Then your problems are over. David cannot go. David went to the mountains and prayed different prayers. He prayed and God gave him the grace. He carried five. You just go and carry roadside stones. You want to come and defeat this devil? No, he cannot. In the name of Jesus Christ, you overcome it. So you people have to go back and pick the stone from the center of the stones. Then the grace of God will be with you people. Oh yeah, you can go. Viewers all over the world, listen, these stones that they are now, they are now going to now pick. It's not, it's not ordinary stones that you will going to now use. Only one stone from your, from your home, then the, the other five, four stones, you take them right from the church. And you're going to have this tag on your neck. Then you going to now pick the stones, the four stones. In between the two angels, they will give you the grace because God gave grace to David in order to defeat the battle. Now, this is the fifth month, your enemies, the fifth month stand that to overcome plants, principalities and darkness to overcome plants, evil plants, evil plans of the enemies against you, against your life, against your business, against your marriage, against your abroad trip, against your, your documents, everything. So you have to now get ready for this month in order to now overcome the, the, the attacks so that you receive your blessing. After studying it, then the, the Bible says Goliath fell down and come and experience it. So after this time, when they come back, you will see how God will now give them the power of this God's grace, they need grace, because they cannot come on your own. So when you are coming from that side, you have to come with, with, with one stone and come and receive the grace from here and continue the battle and overcome the battle. God bless you as you come. Tone your idol or Goliath. The idol is never idle. He is restless and restive. He's always busy seeking whom to devour. He is a strong man, a behemoth and a monster. A Goliath, Colossus, abnormally large and powerful, ugly and very scary. Take him out of the way. Stone your idol, Goliath or strong man. 1 Samuel 17, 39 to 40 and Psalm 23 verse 4. Use five well-selected and smooth stones, one from your home and the other four you'll pick from here, Mercy City. Hit it, aim, pelt, strike and don't miss it. Missing means repeating all over again. Let's do it again. Date, Thursday 7th and Friday 8th June 2018, time 7 a.m. Venue, Mercy City, beside a white house uh, close to the mountains. Goliath is a showstopper. Stop him before he stops you. There will be a wild wind of change. The devil is in double trouble. The last battle, Jeremiah 10, 11 declares, Thus shall you say unto them, The gods that have not been made, the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. 
KJV. Spit them out, all you have swallowed or stolen, including your glory. Your enemies must be flawed or defeated. There must be total restoration and all-round celebration. Hallelujah. From sins and sorrow, blood of Jesus set me free. From sins and sorrow, blood of Jesus set me free. From sins and sorrow, blood of Jesus set me free. I have Jesus in my life, I am satisfied. Even though I have nothing, I am satisfied. I have Jesus in my life, I am satisfied. Even though I have nothing, God bless you to me. I have Jesus in my life, I am satisfied. Even though I have nothing, I am satisfied. You Satan, you Satan, I have come in the power of my Father. I have come in the power of the of I have come in the power of the Holy Spirit. Today, your end has come. I will finish you today. You will no longer appear to me in my dreams. You will never, you will never appear to me. You will not disturb me anymore again. You strong man in my father's house. You strong man in my mother's house. You strong man in where I'm staying. I'm coming to you in the name of my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit. About what? Today, all of you are taking in my life. You will die. All my glory that you have seen through my foundation today, you must surrender all of them to me. In the name of the Father, as I stone you, you will die forever. As I stone you, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I'm ready for you. This is the last battle I have for you. And today, your foundation will perish because you have done a lot of things. Today you will perish. In the name of the Father, not when, when I came alone, God with my God. This time I came with my God. With the one of God that I came with, you will die. As I told you, in the name of the Father, the Son that I came with, you will die as I told you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have Jesus in my life, oh, I am satisfied. Even though I have nothing, I am satisfied. I have Jesus in my life, oh, I, I have stolen my home. And I have killed the Savior. I have strong people in my foundation, they are all perished. Now, you are one of God. You are one of God that gives us the grace. When we went to pick these stones, strength came into us. Not when, when we came on our own. Without the grace of a woman, I have defeated them. Go and defeat them.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The God of Jeremiah, he has done it again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Viewers all over the world, wherever, wherever you are, you can see what I, what's right now, happening right now. I told you people uh, something happened just now. You can see those that who are coming right away from their homes, you must come with one stone from your home and you have to have, you're going to get, carry, pick, four stones from in between the two angels then you now come to this place and begin to now fight this battle and uh, it is the grace of god that's going to now make you to overcome any stone that you miss you go and now pick it again any stone you miss you go and pick one stone if you miss two stones you go and pick two and uh, you come and now complete the journey because you this month from now on as you are about to now stone the devil devil demon Today, as from now, with the Lord God Jesus Christ will be with you. And you're going to now overcome the battle. Because the devil have been doing something that, uh, which you don't understand. So today, I have to tell you people that view us all over the world, whatever you have. You have to come. So that the God of Jeremiah is going to now supersede all other evil powers. He's going to give you the grace for you to now go and now overcome the battle. That stone that you're going to now take in between the two angels, it is not ordinary stone. It's a stone that God is going to now give you the grace. Now remember, the Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel 17, 40, and the ye overcome. This is called the battle. Uh, when Goliath came and uh, nobody to withstand the Philistines and God gave grace upon the, the younger boy called David and David overcome. Right now the Bible says in the book of uh, 1 Samuel 17, 39 it says that they were now trying to give him armor. They want to protect him one way or the other. David said no I don't want any protection because the God at whom I serve is a living God. He's going to fight the battle for me. Enough is enough. Who is that Goliath in your family that disturbing you? Who is that uh, 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 Goliath that who want to now kill you by all means who said that you can never ever marry who said that you can never ever buy your cars who said that you never ever go to, to abroad who is that person that uh, threatened you who is that person over their dead body in their family that they can never ever make make it to meet your heaven or make it to meet your, your glory who said who is now who is that your prayer lives who is that person who is that Goliath that down going down your your expectations now this is the time of battle five this is the fifth month that we are about to now take carry on this sin. Five stones. We're going to carry the five stones to defeat the sin, the enemies. So, this time, come. Don't wait at home. It is time for battle. Remember, after you stone, you stone this devil, anyone you miss, I repeat, you miss, you go and pick another stone again. Right now, anybody, any person, wherever you are, as you stone this devil, so also anything about your life, whosoever that uh, in your family that disturbing you, they will, they will swell up, they will die, either they will die, they will paralyze, or anything can happen to them. Those that who are now fighting you because this is the time, this is the month, the fifth month is to overcome. God give grace to so his children to overcome the strong man in our homes. So, I am waiting for you. I prophet your moment for you. It's waiting for you right in Mason City. Look at the date on the screen and look at the venue. This is Mason City that I said Nigeria. Worry, I am waiting for you. Don't wait at home. You are looking for babies. Breakthrough. Your business is going down. You are seeing negative dreams that you, you seek always. Look at the devil. You can see his face. This very ugly face that trying you. Enough is enough. This time, you cannot wait at home. You sweat. You walk like elephant. Eat like a, a, a ant. This enough is enough. I tell you, this time, it's time for war. Going to church, to church, church, church every time no, without uh, no, uh, no evidence. Let me tell you, after stoning the devil, the light that the enemies have taken away from you is coming back to you. Because God has given me a mandate to now... All this, what is happening, is prophetic. So that's why I want you people. He has given the magnet, and also you, the magnet to overcome the devil. So from now on, the God of Jeremiah must now cover you and then give you the grace to overcome the devil. 
devil is in trouble. Wherever you are, in your village, in your compound, whether evil landlord, evil landlady, you will, you must get your you must get your house. You must get you must build your houses. You must build your estate. No more renting houses because when a person like you is making driving uh, 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 flashy cars, what about you? Are you not going to drive the cars? Are you 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 will never ever be a beggar forever because that is not your portion. It is a work of this nonsense hydros that were in your father's home that don't do those nonsense things. So this time, they must be pulled down. That Goliath must die. Come and experience the raw power of Holy Ghost to overcome the plans of your enemies. God bless you. Turn your idol or Goliath. The idol is never idle. He is restless and restive. He is always busy seeking whom to devour. He is a strong man a behemoth and a monster, a Goliath, colossus, abnormally large and powerful, ugly and very scary. Take him out of the way. Stone your idol, Goliath or strong man. 1 Samuel 17, 39 to 40 and Psalm 23, verse 4. Use five well-selected and smooth stones, one from your home and the other four you'll pick from here, Mercy City. Hit it, aim, pelt, strike and don't miss it. Missing means repeating all over again. Let's do it again. Date Thursday 7th and Friday 8th June 2018 time 7 a.m. Venue Mercy City beside a white house uh, close to the mountains. Goliath is a showstopper. Stop him before he stops you. There will be a wild wind of change. The devil is in double trouble. The last battle, Jeremiah 10, 11 declares, Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have not been made, the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens, KJV. Spit them out, all you have swallowed or stolen, including your glory. Your enemies must be flawed or defeated. There must be total restoration and all all-round celebration. Hallelujah.